What's good ladies and gentlemen, I'm Michael and today we're going over the three best posture exercises and what has helped me in improving my posture. Now I'm going to recommend that you do these in the morning as it will set the tone for the rest of the day and you don't have to do it every single morning but as you will see later in the video repetition does matter and we'll get into sets and reps when we're going over the particular exercises. Now, why would you need to do posture related exercises? You've heard this a million times before, so let me just briefly go over it. Today's society, a lot of people are at the computer or they're at their desk writing notes or whatever it may be. They have shortened anteriors and by doing so, they're lengthening their posterior chain and they're also weakening it at the same time. So we wanna bring you back to that correct posture. That way you can be healthier, eliminate unnecessary risk and display yourself in a positive light. It's going to show that you're confident when you're standing up tall and your shoulders are back, and it's gonna show people that they wanna be around you and display yourself in the way you wanna be portrayed. So the first exercise that I'm going to recommend that you do are face pulls. And yes, you've probably heard these exercises before, and there's a good reason for it. Now, let's go into the setup first. You're going to need some sort of resistive band or even cables. Now these are only a couple dollars. You can buy them at Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, pretty much anywhere. Maybe Amazon for sure. They have everything. They're only a couple dollars. And they're actually color coded by their level of resistance. How many pounds of resistance, meaning how difficult are they um, to stretch. Now I'll post a chart here, but let's go into the setup. So what you want to do is find some kind of post that you can anchor it at and you want it about chin level and you're going to even out this band and you're going to step back you're going to step back i realize i'm out of frame step back and you're gripping it just like you would normally and you're stepping it back so when your arms are fully extended you still have resistance on the band they want to pull you forward right first thing we're going to do to initiate the pull is we're going to pull our scapula back which just means pinch your shoulder blades back and down and then you're going to pull towards your forehead and, or towards your face hence the name face pulls and we're going to do this for 25 to 50 repetitions from anywhere one to three sets and you should feel this burn in the lower uh, smaller muscle groups in your back and what this is going to help you do is prevent those rounded um, shrugged shoulders and pull them back um, it's gonna help you with your shoulder health and also strengthen those smaller muscles like I said now these bands yes you're gonna have to increase um, their level of resistance over time but as you're gonna see with all these exercises it's more about the technique and the repetitions than the actual resistance you wanna after those 25 to 50 repetitions you should be feeling a burn. It shouldn't be super difficult, but you should feel a burn in your back. Let's get into the second exercise. Now for the second exercise, we have what I call wall alignment. I'm not actually um, too sure what the name is, but let's just call it wall alignment for the sake of this video. Now after doing those face pulls, some of you may be like this and be like, okay, Michael, now I got correct posture, right? Uh, possibly not and the reason for this is when you're doing it you don't want to excessively lean back and yes you want your shoulders back but you shouldn't be where your hips are in front of the rest of your body and that could in some cases be just as bad as your hips being way far behind the rest of your body so we're going to try to correct excuse me correct that through different points of contact now what we're going to do is we're going to go on this wall and we're going to to put our the back of our foot in alignment with the wall so they're in contact with their alignment we're also going to put our butt in contact with the wall as well as our shoulder blades now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to put our elbows of both sides of our arm on the wall and we're going to put our hands on the wall as well as the back of our head so there's a lot of points of contact so just to go over it really briefly it's your head hands elbows shoulder blades butt and the back of your heels now this is going to be hard enough for enough people and let alone myself now 
what you want to do to progress this is you actually want to try to push up straight up while keeping contact with all those points go up as high as you can and then back down and you're going to do this for 5 to 15 repetitions 1 to 3 sets now you're going to find this is very difficult that's okay it's perfectly normal but like I said repetition matters you've got to continually practice it just like anything else to become good at it so let's get into the next exercise now the third exercise that we're gonna go over is the easiest but it's just as important as the other ones and I'm especially going to recommend it at the end of the day because every day whether you realize it or not gravity is pushing us straight down compressing our spine and the only time we ever get relief from that is when we're laying on a bed perpendicular to the ground because now gravity is going this way instead of straight down on our spine. And if you're doing things like overhead presses or heavy squats, you're going to notice this a lot um, more than other people who maybe don't do as much regular exercise. So for this exercise, pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to grab a bar and if you can't hold yourself up, that's fine, you can use straps if you'd like, but I definitely recommend you build up your strength. And then you're just going to hang. Now, the important thing with this is you're not in a pull-up position where you're squeezing your scapula back. Instead, we wanna completely relax, let those shoulder blades fall, you're resting your head, and you're almost trying to sink into the ground. Um, and you're not supposed to be in contact with the ground, but if you can't hold your weight, that's fine. Maybe you can just, to start off, put a little bit of your weight on your legs, um, but you still wanna be fully extended. You're stretching out those lats, you're stretching out the entire back, and this is really gonna relieve that stress off that spine and help you be taller and stand taller. And a lot of people won't notice it. It's only possibly gonna be millimeters, um, but trust me, a simple exercise like this it does go a long way. That's the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to put critiques down below that you may have or video suggestion. Subscribe if you would be interested in more of my content. Have a beautiful day, guys. See you in the next one.